Alright, big welcome to you all to our channel. We are back with the card restriction list and damn Bushiroad What have you done? Well, of course, this is the Japanese restricting Restriction list. We will get the English one later I hope that that one could be a little bit different because this is very very harsh Alright, let's talk about it. the first thing that they have done for standard is they hit Oroko Ting Tang Oh, for I mean a uh, Primula Triangle Sonata and his lot cannot be played in the same deck, but you could just play four copies of any you like, but not both of them. I think this is perfect. I do agree with them 100%. This is better than hitting Coral and Sonata. I think uh, all the great threes, because they are themed, should be together in one deck. But now you're taking Lisa lot out, so you're taking the early rush, which is a very un. Um, I, I just don't like Lisa a lot. It has no cost, it has too many good skills, and it just rewards you with like nothing paid. And you could call it in the like when you're going to read one on stuff. It's, it's just an unfair card, and I think it's better that they've done it this way. Or people should keep Lisa a lot in their deck and they, to not, they take Sonata out, and then they lose uh, the early. Or, I mean, they lose the power of Sonata. But I think most people will take this a lot out. But we'll have to wait and see, maybe see different decks. This must make the deck a little bit less good, but it does not kill the deck or anything. The deck will still be very strong, uh, especially the late game will still be the same. You're just taking, I think, in my opinion, just leaves a lot out of your deck, and that's okay. Alright, then for premium. We start with Oracle Think Tank, and that's when things got a little bit too far. First of all, the new Ichikishima is at zero. You cannot play it in your deck. The card is banned. Just banned. Well, no, I don't agree with this. Second thing is the starter. The starter got a uh, ban that it cannot be used as a first starter, but you could use it in your deck. I think this is better than getting an errata. First, I thought, well, they could make an errata like you can choose three cards with different card names from your deck, and then your opponent had to choose one. But that would make the card way less good, and now they could play it just in their deck as an extra, uh, but not as their starter, so that's good. Um, but if you make an errata, that's kind of bad because people will still make mistakes about this card. Some people do not know that it has an errata, some people kind of cheat. Um, and with having the card like this, it's, in my opinion, very good from Bushiroad and smart approach to the starter. Then we go back to Ichikishima. Um, I am one of the people that when the card was known said that this is the strongest card of the premium set. And I also told you guys that this card is so unfair, it gives Oracle Ding Ding so much advantage. Being in the G zone, meaning you could almost always have your still water sign on Tom turn, even if your opponent rushes you to hell, you still have like three or four copies face up in your G zone, and with that you have your Oracle active. Also, being this as a first stride kills your opponent just by it being a first stride. And the cost is just a counter blast. And flipping something face up, which could flip herself. All of that being said, I still don't think that this card should have gone to zero. I think that this card should have gone to one. And that's why one. And I hope that Bushiroad, please listen to what I have here to say. If you put this card at one, you have her second ability being in the G zone, which gives you Oracle, which is good. But you have a way less good first stride because you don't get the power from her because you cannot flip her face up in your G zone because you only have one. Which means that your first stride is a little bit less good and at the same time, your later on, you cannot go into her again. You have only one copy of her. That is better than just ban the card. I mean, it's too much. I hate to play against Oracle Think Tank. It's one of the best matchup for clans like mine, like Sparkle is, and this card is just unfair. You're having a PG, you're having a G guard, you're having stuff, you cannot use them, and you have to use like normal units and stuff and intercept and everything, and then they go to Stillwater and you still can't use your PGs and G guards, and with that you just can't use anything and you can't guard against Oracle Think Tank. But still, I don't think that this card should have been just banned. They should have just put it at 2-1. But yeah, that's that's my opinion. Alright, next, Bermuda in Premium. 
Well, they kind of ban Ellie as their key cards. I know that people that do not play against Bermuda a lot will think, whoa, that's too much, they should have put it to one. And then other people that play Bermuda Triangle say, whoa, that's too much, they should have put it to one. No, Ellie should have been banned or gotten a fucking errata or something. But enough about erratas, it should have been banned. Why? Because you can just use it. You can just reuse it. It's it's just insane. You saw Blast 1 and you could reuse it. You do not have to have a G guard in your G zone to do that. You could just activate it. And with that, one Ellie is enough to keep guarding with her. Like having four heals, having four of the grade 2, you can keep guarding with this card without losing anything. You guard and you flip her back. You guard and you flip her back. And yeah, that's just insane. That's just stupid. It's it always have been a stupid card and it should have been banned or gotten an errata. Like uh, if you have an Ellie face up in your G zone then you could flip her back or something. But and then put her up to two or something like that. I don't know, but I think that the card is banned and I do agree with this. Then we have Anji. Anji put two one. Um that does kill the Anji deck. So, no, Anji should have not gone to 1, Anji should have just stayed being played at 4, I think it's a very good card, it's the best card to stride on, it's the best grade 3 from GR in my opinion, I said it before and I, I told you guys that if I would make a spike deck using Anji then every card in spike would work better, you can search cards from your deck to your hand, you can recall them just with your stride skill when you stride you call them, you plus on your hand just from drawing, you put cards, problem cards from your opponent's field back to their hand, it's just perfect, the card is perfect, but should it have been gone to 1? Nah, maybe 2, maybe 3, just make the deck a little bit consistent, but not one. You, you're just killing the deck. You can tag her in in other decks, but nobody will just play her in. I don't know. There is no reason to do that. You're killing the Anji deck, and I, I think that's not the right way to do it. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Alright, then we have Gold. I do have to agree 100% with that. It cannot be used as a first finger. I think this is better. I've seen uh, different approaches from different YouTubers that they're talking about the play 2 that should have gone to 1 or you cannot play it with the same deck with this. Um, you have different ways to do that. But I think that by putting him to not being played as your starving vanguard, you already make the deck way more consistent. They have to search in for this card. They have to search for the grade 2. They need too many different things in their hand to go for the big combo and some people do that, some people will get it off but it would be way less consistent and that's just perfect. Um, I do agree with this 100% and I think that people will play gold uh, without having that asshole bullshit striding while your opponent is on grade 2 or grade 1. Alright, and then we have Nuba, which is a newcomer, which he even didn't get the chance to do something and they hit him right away. You cannot play Rena and the, Jew, uh, the, the new VR from the new set of Nuba together. Um, I think this is a very smart band or restriction. I think that they are kind of scaring off all the non Nuba players because Rena have been your go to stride since he came out, and this would be your go to right target since it got out. And combining the two, meaning that your opponent would keep only 5 cards in their hand but then um, they have to call 2 with Rene and then they have to guard with like 2 cards and they're left with no cards in hand. But I think that the Rene will be set aside and they will play. people will play the new VR with a lot of different strides because you have way... a lot of good strides in Nubutama that you could use with, uh, with the new VR. I don't think that this would be a problem but I do think that this is smart because now people that wanted to play Nubutama are scared off. So you will have only the diehard Nubutama fans that will play this card. I will be one of them. I will. I play Nubutama and I like playing the clan and I would definitely play the new VR and just put Rene aside. Just give him some rest for all the time that we use him in every game we had the chance to. 
and that's kind of it for this wrist so we have for standard you can choose between Sonata and Lisa Lot and one deck then for premium they banned Ichikishima and Ellie just banned <laughs> and then uh, cards that you cannot use as your first starter are the cat from Oracle Think Tank and of course the starter from Gold Paldens and then you can choose to play four copies of Rene or the new um uh, uh, the, the new VR and you cannot use both. It's kind of the same as the Sonata Lizolot thingy. You can use the one or the other, you cannot use both. And then we have limited to one is Angie. I told you my thoughts, I told you how it should have been done and I hope that it will be different for the English restriction list. Thank you all for watching guys, I hope to see you soon in our videos and don't forget to like, to subscribe and also go to our Facebook group and YouTube channel to see more and to follow us. So stay tuned for more crushing the meta. Till next time.